of updates on Khaled, and it's not the outcome we were hoping for. If you remember, Khaled is a young man with muscular dystrophy who was mysteriously left off Egypt's evacuation list, even though his whole family registered together and everyone was approved but him. And he had just three days to make this right before the family evacuation approval would expire. So we made an emergency video for him with hopes it'd go viral, and it did, so thank you. And in that video, we asked anyone who knew of any contacts who were evacuating adults to please reach out to those contacts on Khaled's behalf. We also diligently checked our own DMs and email at OOB, and unfortunately, we came up empty-handed. I spoke to his sister, Wafa, and she says that Khaled wouldn't allow his mother to stay. He wanted her to be safe. So, on Sunday, she went to safety, leaving Khaled alone. Fortunately, Khaled's aunts, who are still in Rafa, will be tending to him for now. But nobody can care for you the way your mother can. And when I asked Wafa, doesn't he qualify for a special medical evac? She said, he is qualified, but there are thousands of serious injuries ahead of him. This injustice for Khaled can only be undone by the Egyptian authorities at the border. Please make your own video about this grave injustice to place pressure on them to put his name back on the sheet. His name is Khaled Suleiman. The family has named their specific wishes for how we can continue to help. First, They've slightly raised their campaign goal in order to help them navigate life as refugees. Please understand that most of this money is already withdrawn. But their one big ask is to bring attention to the campaign of the extended family of Khaled's other sister, Nada, line 114 on the master list. If you remember, she and her three-year-old son, Yosef, had already evacuated to safety, but had to leave behind her husband, Hassan, who stayed to care for his siblings, who have dwarfism and related medical issues. This entire side of the family still needs your help, and Hassan would really like to meet baby Keenan for the first time. Here's a clip in Hassan's own words. Hello everyone, this is Hassan Abushanak. I live in Gaza, I've been living in pure hell. I made a decision to get them out of here because I can't see my beloved family suffer this much, and thankfully, we're both safe now in Egypt. We managed to get them out, but their happiness is incomplete, and they're always worried about me. I want to be with them, but unfortunately, I can't. I have to take care of both my six siblings. My wife was pregnant with another baby, just two days ago, she gave birth to our new baby, his name is Kinan, and I never got to hold him till now, but I want to hold him, I want to raise both my children in peace, so please make sure to check our link and donate to help my family so I can get them out of here. Every penny is so appreciated and everybody could make the difference. As always, please follow whoever I have tagged below, amplify their own voices. These are real families asking for our help. Please don't let that be in vain.